Hey, what is going on everybody? Desir here with our round 3 matchup for Cosmic Crucible. I am currently 0-2 and, and I will be dropping down to Diamond 3 unfortunately at the end of this week. However, I really want to get some momentum built up going into next week. That way I feel a lot better and I can get a real test for how my defense is currently holding up. Now if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm very close to that 500 subs mark and that's a big milestone for me, so if you haven't done that, please be sure to do that in this video. Now my opponent today is Astronix, I hope I am saying your name correctly. Let's go ahead, look at his TCP and his defenses and see what we're going against today. Now my opponent Astronix is about 71 million TCP, so this is going to be a slight punch down for me. However, this is Masters 3, I'm not going to take him lightly, I'm going to treat him just like I treat every other opponent that I face, whether it's a punch down, punch across, or a punch up. Now he is in this rank for a reason, so let's go ahead, take a look at his defenses, and see what we're going against. And here are the defenses. So in stage 1, we have Extreme X-Men with Cyclops instead of Nightcrawler, and there is a Dorm there. Stage 2, we have a Pegasus. Stage 3, we have a Black Knight with Jubilee, Phoenix, Nightcrawler, and Sunspot, so all of those X-Men will be getting offense up on spawn. Stage 4, we have a Darkhold with a Red Hulk. Stage 5, we have Infinity Watch. In Stage 6, we have Secret Defenders with Spider-Man Noir. For Stage 1, I'm going to use Masters of Evil with Apocalypse here. Now, I did change Kang to a Raider, that way I don't have to worry about the ability block on him. Apocalypse will not need that because he does spawn with that safeguard and immunity, so I don't have to worry about him getting a Billy blocked at all. Titania will be starting this matchup. I'm actually going to target Rogue first and do the ultimate. That's going to put the ability block on her and the disrupt, so that way I don't have to worry about her doing the taunt. King will be going next. I'm going to stay focused on Rogue here and actually do the special. I'm going to hit Dorm with that, and I don't want to hit Gambit and knock him into stealth when I'm not ready to. For Moonstone's turn, I'm going to target the Cyclops and do the ultimate. That's going to get that nice turn rewind on Forge and Gambit and Cyclops. For Absorbing Man's turn, I'm going to target Dorm and do the ultimate. So I got the buffs off of Dorm. With Titania, I'm going to use the special on Forge. And right now I'm trying to get as many characters as low as possible for when I do the Kang Ultimate. Apocalypse, I do the Ultimate, that takes one life off of the Forge. And the follow-up attack does do the Permakill on Gambit. I'm going to do the Permakill on Forge next. For Kang's turn, I'm going to do the Ultimate. And that ended up clearing the match for me, so that Kang Ultimate worked perfect. For stage 2, there's the Pegasus team on defense. I do currently have my Bifrost on defense, so I can't use them as the counter to this, so I'm going to use Super Scroll with Hive Mind on this one. The Super Scroll will be going first. I'm actually going to target the Iron Heart and do the special, that we can get some turn meter rewind on the three left characters. The Iron Man Infinity War then does his ultimate and puts some defense downs on the field. I'm going to do Super Scrolls Basic starting from the Iron Man Infinity War to Chain Across, so that way you can get the Disrupt on there. However, I did just lose the Red Goblin, which is pretty big. The Iron Heart then does her ultimate and throws more debuffs on the other side of the field. Kestrel does the ultimate and takes out the Gwenom, so now I just have Super Scroll and a Stunned Carnage. I do Super Scrolls ultimate and the rescue is dead luckily here. The Darkhawk then does a special, but I'm able to get some evades, so that way the Carnage is still left alive. Super Scroll is back up. I'm going to do the basic starting from the Iron Heart, and the Iron Heart is now dead. Carnage is up, however he is blind, and I don't have any unavoidable attacks on here, so I'm just going to do a basic. 
Carnage is back up. I'm going to target that Darkhawk and do the special, and that did kill the Kestrel. So Super Scroll is going to be basic, and I just need to try to last long enough to finish these two characters off. The Darkhawk is refusing to die right here. I used Super Scroll's basic, and I finally got the kill. This took a lot more turns, and I took a lot more punishment than I actually intended to. For stage 3, I'm going to use the Superior 6, and I'm actually going to take Lizard out and put Vulture in. Because there's a Nightcrawler on the other side of the field, I'm able to take those speed ups away. I also want to keep Spider Slayer in this composition, because he does let the entire team spawn with that offense up, so I can get those assists right off the bat. So Vulture will be going first. I'm going to use his special and I'm actually going to target the Phoenix, that way I can flip the buffs and get slow on three characters as opposed to just two. The Green Goblin Classic is up, I'm going to target the Black Knight and use the Ultimate. Because those offense is up, I can get those assists on the Black Knight now to do some pretty good damage to him. The Phoenix is dead, she comes back and ends up doing her special. Craven is up, I'm going to target the Nightcrawler and do the special. That's going to put the ability block on him, and this will also put the assist attacks on him as well. And now the Nightcrawler is dead. Vulture's up, I'm going to target the Black Knight and do the ultimate. The assist end up actually doing some very good damage to him, and ends up killing him as well, along with the whole team. For stage 4, I'm going to do my usual Tangled Web Pegasus combination into this Dark Hold with the Red Hulk. This should work normal just like it does in every other Cosmic Crucible season. The Spider Man 2099 will be going first. I'm going to target Agatha and do the ultimate because she does have that death proof. Weaver's up next. I'm going to target the Morgan Le Fay and do the ultimate. That does get the trauma stun on her. Now here's something that is different in this matchup. The Heartless does end up doing the ults right here instead of the special and that is unavoidable so I took some damage from that hit. All the other hits coming in I am protected by the charges from Weaver. Kestrel is up next. I'm going to target the Heartless and do the special on him. Wong does end up doing his ultimate and he now has the taunt and safeguard on himself. Falcon is still up, I do the special, that's going to get me a lot of turn meter rewind now. The Iron Man Infinity War is up and I end up doing the special just to do some little bit extra damage on there. The 2099 is back up, I do the special to try to get the ability block on him, that does get resisted. Weaver's up, I do the special so I can chain across, and that does kill the Heartless. Kestrel is now up, I'm going to use the ultimate on the Red Hulk to try to get him out of the way, and that does kill him. Iron Man of Finn, War is up, I do the ultimate, and that does finish the match for me right there. For stage 5, I'm going to use my War Dogs into the Infinity Watch. This is kind of a punch across with a slight punch down on it. This still isn't always a safe matchup depending on the room that it's in, but we're going to see how it plays out today. Nakia will be going first, and this is kind of the first mistake I make in this matchup. I'm actually targeting Moon Dragon first instead of the Philo Vel. So I do the special from Nakia into Moon Dragon. Followed by Black Panther 1 Mills ultimate into Moo Dragon to take the buffs. The assists come in, but she still is alive. 
For Okoye, I do the special on the Moon Dragon. She chains across. Black Panther, I do the special into Moon Dragon to get some assist. And the Moon Dragon is still standing. For Nakia, I end up doing the ultimate while staying targeted on the Moon Dragon. That way, the assist can come in. And again, Moon Dragon still refuses to die. The counterattacks do come in on the Gamora, so I do some pretty good damage on her there. For one mil, I end up doing the special while staying targeted on the Moon Dragon. The Okoye assist comes in, and now Moon Dragon is dead. Now I end up shifting my attention over to Philovel. I do Okoye's ultimate into Philovel, followed by Black Panther's ultimate. For Shuri, I do end up doing the ult to heal up right there. And now they start hard targeting down my Okoye. The Gamora does do that ultimate, followed by the follow-up attack, and that does take out my Nakia, so that is a pretty big blow that I just took right there. The Black Panther 1 mil does end up taking out the Philovel. Now I'm turning my attention over to the Gamora. One life is off of the Gamora. Black Panther, I now do the special into Gamora, so I can try to take out her second life. The Adam Warlock then does the ultimate to stun the Black Panther and the Okoye, so I now have lost my assist. And now they start hard targeting down my Shuri. So she has so many bleeds on her, she is going to end up bleeding out. Black Panther, I do the basic and the assist comes in to take out the Gamora. Now I'm turning my attention over to the Adam Warlock. So you definitely see some of the misplays that I did on here. I should have targeted the Philovel first, then shifted over to the Moon Dragon. The hard targeting also was a bad RNG to where they took out the Nakia and the Shuri, which did end up kind of cost me quite a bit of efficiency. You do see a lot of the turns that's coming as well, along with the health. This is not a good efficient attack at all, and this could cost me the Cosmic Crucible, depending on what happens with my defenses. For stage 6, I'm going to use one of my favorite teams right now. It's Cabal with Lizard and Archangel. The only other version I like better than this one is doing Vulture instead of Archangel, but this one's really fun too. This also gets you a lot of efficiency points, which is another reason I really like this matchup. Now this is a very fast matchup. Lizard's going to go first, you're going to use the ultimate. That's going to take all the buffs off the other team, including the death proofs off of the Black Cat. This Marvel Harlot is going to do the ultimate to do the rewind on Lizard and Archangel. The Iron Patriot will do the special. Namor, you're actually going to target the Robbie and do the ultimate because he is a striker in this matchup. Miss Marvel Harlight and Noir dies. The follow up attack does kill the Robbie. And the Archangel pings start to take everybody's lives off. Leader will do the special, and the match is over. And I ended up winning and my defense did amazing it looks like. He wasn't able to clear one of my rooms and it looks like he also had another dropped attack in there. So my opponent did get a 41386. I got a 5159. So it does look like Astronix, again I hope I said your name correctly, did struggle a little bit. Let's go ahead look at the defenses and see what happened. So for stage 1, I used my Masters of Evil and APOC, and this got me at 8367. This is a very efficient hit, and I'm very happy with how it played out.
Stage 2, I did struggle on this matchup, so I'm not sure what happened. I'm going to try to watch this again and see what did end up going wrong on this. I got an 83.49 on this one, so it definitely hurt my efficiency score. For Stage 3, I got an 83.66. It's a very good score, I feel. Some of the health bonus isn't quite where I would like it, but that's what happens when you go against a Black Knight, unfortunately. For stage 4, I got an 8366 again. This is a pretty good hit, especially when you're going against a Darkhold team. For stage 5, I got an 8340. This definitely hurt my Cosmic Crucible score as well, so that is a stage 2 and stage 5, which really affected my score in this one. And for stage 6, I got an 8371. This was another very good hit by me, and... This team does very well, as you can see, as far as efficiency goes, when it's going against the Secret Defenders count. As far as my defense goes, I had Black Knight with the Captain America, Phoenix, Gambit, Rogan here. This did end up taking the Cabal with Masters of Evil. They got an 83-61 as far as the score goes. For Stage 2, they initially went in with the Hive Mind Super Scroll. And it looks like that failed, so they ended up backing out, went in with Bifrost Super Scroll, and that did end up getting them the win. They got a 79.66 on my Stage 2 of Bifrost with Death Pool. So it looks like Stage 3 is the one they did not clear. They initially went in with Superior 6, they only killed Dorn. They tried going back in with uh, Undying Captain Sam Emma, and that did fail. And they went back in with a Spider Society kind of combination, and that also did not work. The big thing about this is Sunspot and those charges. As soon as they come in, they're going to have that full ability energy, and they're going to be ulting on turn 1, which definitely came into a play on the follow-up attacks on here. For stage 4, they got an 83.65. They used Doom with Tangled Web Big Time and Omega Red to take out my Black Order Omega Red composition. For Stage 5, it looks like they struggled as well with my Infinity Watch team. They got an 8338, and I'm kind of curious how close this actually came to them wiping out since it just had the Quicksilver left at the end of it. And for Stage 6, they went in with New Warriors Apocalypse on my Secret Defenders Morgan Le Fay team. They got an 8351, and looks like Apocalypse was the lone man standing on this one. So I'm very happy with how my defense played out on this matchup. I really wish I would have used this all the way through, but I at least got some information from my first round of when I was testing out a different defense. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the defense that I'm using on this one? Because I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to add Spider Society to my defense for next week, so stay tuned for that one. If you haven't already, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.